Hi, my name is Matt Bennett. I am the Vice President of Research and Development for Windlift, and I'm here at NI Week showcasing our airborne wind energy technology. Uh, this system uses uh, fabric airfoil that you can see hanging from the ceiling there to capture wind power from higher altitudes than can be uh, obtained with a traditional tower-based wind service. The way the system works is we fly the airfoil downwind of the ground station. We fly in a figure eight pattern. That maximizes the speed and lift of the wing. We use that lift to pull tethers off of a drum. The drum is attached to a generator. As the wing moves downwind, we generate electricity and we store it in our battery bank, which is in this gray cabinet to my left. When we run out of tether, we depower the wing by decreasing its angle of attack, and we retract it back to the machine. Uh, the net cycle power is approximately one-third of the generate power, the maximum generate power. So this machine is designed to generate 12 kilowatts on a net cycle basis, which means we need to get about 35 kilowatts on the way downwind. The advantages of this technology are that it's mobile. So the comparable uh, tower-based wind turbine would have an 80-foot tall tower and a 75,000-pound concrete foundation. The other advantage is that we capture wind power from higher altitudes, which means that we access a stronger and more consistent wind resource. The technology is intended uh, initially for a military customer who currently gets their power from diesel generators. Getting diesel to those generators is very expensive and dangerous. Uh, as the technology matures, we foresee it going into the disaster relief space and eventually into the developing world. Uh, our website is www.windlift.com, and there are videos of the system in operation if you'd like to see them. Thank you.